it's, it's a great feeling of accomplishment when you get up oh, here. Yeah. It's, that's, that's the amazing part about it. I think the thing that I remember the most is just like the challenge of getting up mountains or even when it's flat, just being tired from the day and then coming into camp. And it just, it's really fun to, to hang out with the people in your group, especially if you don't know people, you get to know them over during the summertime, over the period of a week or just during the weekend. You look around and you know God's got this, you know, oh my gosh, she's so great. Yeah. Because it's amazing, like, you know, it's just so beautiful. And there's so many correlations you can make between, like, spiritual life and, like, life in the outdoors. It's, I don't know, I've grown a lot through my time of Oh, it, you see different sides of people when you're, when you're doing stuff like this. And, like, you, I feel like you see more into who they are uh, than just, like, who they pretend to be. And you really have to support each other. Yeah. So that's a lot of the, the, the bonding part is that you have to support each other, whether it's you know going and cutting logs for the campfire or getting dinner ready or encouraging someone like Melissa did with me today <laughs> to actually get up the mountain. Come on, Leslie, it's not that much further. You know? So it's it's a lot of it has to do with just you know the 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 group building stuff that you have to mm -hmm. really be a team. Yeah. Um, I remember one time we were hiking. Um, we had just left Road Denver Gap, and we were hiking down. Um, they were on the way to uh, God's Dare Master, whatever people choose to call it. And um, it was it was it was raining a little bit at Road Gap, but then it started pouring on the way there. And finally, like we got to the point where we were just completely soaked, and there's nothing we could do about it. So we were just like, okay, let's just jump around in the puddles, have a good time. And like it was it was pretty miserable, but at the same time, like. It's the memorable. fact that we, yeah, like we were all freezing together and it was, it was a really good experience, I think. Mm -hmm. I had one of my greatest experiences on God's Stairmaster too. Mm -hmm. One time I was by myself, this was last year I guess, hiking up and there's rocks, you know, and I just, I couldn't do it. So I sat down and I just looked around and it was just like, it took my breath away and it was just one of those moments that, you know, you, you just can't forget. It was just, I sat there, I cried, everybody makes fun of me because I cry when I get excited about <laughs> the beauty that God creates, see? But it was, it was one of those moments. I feel like if anyone has never done Wilderness Trail or never at least been outdoors and thought about God in the process, they should because, I don't know, it's a really good experience. And even if you don't physically feel like you can do it, you can. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the, th the first year I came, I didn't actually hike because I was, a I was kind of afraid, you know, I didn't think I could physically do it. So I did support staff and then I was like, oh gosh, I want to do it. I want to do it. So the next year I came out and I hiked and it's not easy. I mean, it's, yeah. it's pretty hard, but it's, it's worth it. it. It's so worth it. Yeah.